Hello, uh, in this video uh, we continue to explain how we can communicate with the ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi module using the AT command and FTDI USB uh, uh, volt shifted. Okay, uh, and the SyncSpeak website, all what you need to is create uh, your uh, channel. And uh, once you create your channel, you, uh, you must get the API key. This one, my API uh, key, so you will get a new one uh, through your channel. This key will be used uh, through the AT command uh, uh, communications. Okay, and in public view, you can see uh, the data uploaded from the Wi Fi module, okay, and the graph and display in the graph way uh, in, in my channel. Okay, uh, to do that, we need to uh, just open, okay. Let me start this from begin. Okay, we need to open one of the uh, COM port of the serial uh, communication port of the Arduino IDE. Okay, we will send the command via this uh, uh, via this uh, serial port, communication port. Okay, uh, for the default ESP, most of ESP uh, 8266 uh, Wi Fi module will come with this. Default board rate is 57600 board rate, and we select this option both NL and CI. Okay, now we're ready to communicate with our uh, Wi Fi module. Okay, well, all what we need, we just send a, a sequence of ET command to uh, this Wi Fi module. Okay, first of all, we need to send the ET command to AT with a capital letter to uh, the Wi Fi module to make sure that the communication is established in correct way. Okay, it must reply with okay. Now it's not replying. Let me send again. If you come on, okay, okay. Okay. Let us refresh this communication. Okay. There is no reply. Okay. Let us change this. Okay. Now I think we have a conflict in the port rate. So let me try this one okay correct and this one okay now it's uh, reply in the correct way okay so when you send 80 it must reply with okay that's mean the communication is uh, established in the correct way okay uh, and the second step we will send the reset command to the module just to reset all uh, default setting for the Wi-Fi module. Okay. Now I will send the next command. This command will uh, retrieve all available Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi in my location. Okay. Take some time. Okay. This all Wi-Fi available in my location. This one is my Wi-Fi. So I will link with this through this command. I must write the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Okay, you, you need to change according to Wi-Fi information, okay? Now I will send this command to link with this Wi-Fi and must reply with OK if this connection is established in a good way. Okay, I will retrieve now the, uh, the IP for this Wi-Fi to make sure that the connection is, uh, is, is done, okay? Now I get the IP, my local IP, okay? And my, my MAC address. Okay, now I will send uh, the next command. Okay. Okay, now it's fine. Now I will send this command and this command I'm I'm link I'm using TCP uh, IP communication. I'm and using the IP for the uh, Think Speak website and port number as you see. Okay. I will send this this. Okay. Now it's connected. Now I will send the next command. This one. Okay. Now it's fine. Now I need to put this. Okay. And um, for example, I will write uh, 17. Okay. And now I send this value to my website, ThinkSpeak, and the communication is closed in the correct way. So let us check ThinkSpeak. Let me check the channel. Okay, let's refresh this page. Okay, now P 
you can see we up updated less than uh, one minute ago okay and we get the values values sent before you can check it okay like okay and this way you can communicate with you with, with your uh, think speak website using wi-fi but, but